Good morning, everyone. Today is another pre-maintenance checklist video, which means we're going over all of the different campaigns which are ending with this coming maintenance. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is of course the mission pass. So season 28 is coming to an end with the coming maintenance. So make sure that you progress as far as you can and collect all of these rewards. The next campaign that is also ending is going to be the seven deadly sins campaign. So make sure that you complete all of them. There's literally just a login reward. So if you haven't logged in in a while or since the beginning of this campaign, all you simply need to do is just log in once and you get a bunch of goodies. Now on top of that, there is also the seven deadly sins style AC scratch, which is also going away. So if you did want any of these uh, cosmetic items, especially the vital gauges, I actually think the vital gauges are going up in price significantly, as well as the idols, as well as the dash. As you can see, the dash is going for 6.2 million already, the idols at 6 million, and I believe these are only going to go even higher later down the line, especially the mag form. I don't even have the mag form. It's actually only 2 million. I might pick up a couple of these mag forms before the scratch goes away. But I think the main thing that a lot of people are going to want are going to be the uh, vital gauges. Uh, yeah, so the Mediolas vital gauge is the cheapest one. But if we look at Deanne, if we look at Bon, like these are all pretty good prices. They're all like, you know, 1 million. Well, okay, I don't know why King. Maybe King's just not so popular. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, different vital gauges over here. Wow, Merlin's is going for 5 million? Holy cow. What about Escanor? Escanor is going for 2 million. So clearly Merlin is the fan favorite over here um, since it is going for the most amount of money. But nevertheless, there are a lot of high value items in this AC Scratch and uh, they are all going away. So you might want to pick up a couple items over here before the AC Scratch ends. Now with all those things out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the item recycle because remember we got the 100% and rare drop rate boosters. You can purchase 10 of these every single week. Now of course if you don't play a lot, this might be a lot since it requires you to level 60 times above your regular maximum level in order to get 60 NEX cubes. So if you don't have that many NEX cubes, I would prioritize the add preset skills first. Remember you can buy three of these every single week. So definitely buy out this first before looking at the rare drop rate. As you can see, I've already hit the maximum amount. So I can't purchase any more of these until next week. Uh, they do cost 10 NEX cubes. So you're paying 30 of them every single week for this add preset skills level one, which requires you to level up 30 times across the span of one week, which isn't too bad considering that your dailies and your weeklies give you quite a lot of EXP. So uh, hopefully you do have enough, but nevertheless, these two items are something that you definitely don't want to sleep on. So if you do have the NEX cubes like myself, you can uh, just purchase them, okay? All right, with all of that out of the way, the next thing I want to remind everyone is your ARCs records. Remember, you can run this with any class and it is the Crazy Tail Solo. You simply just need to participate to get your 20 ARCs record badges. The reason why running your ARCs records and getting these badges are so important is simply because you can get all of your MK1 weapons. And if you haven't seen my video already, you can use MK1 weapons to fix your fixes or to improve your fixes if you have something that you like. Um, so in my case, I actually had to try to fix my fixes. Unfortunately, uh, I was not able to get the right fixer yet. I got a fixer attack. Um, so we still need to keep trying until we can get fixer fatale. And then once we do have fixer fatale, we're going to need a lot of MK1 weapons in order to level up our fixer to try to get a fixer fatale level four or above. And that's pretty much the goal. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the Aegis Integral Exchange over here. Again, at the very bottom, you can exchange all of your different Neo A weapons into Aegis Integras. If you've been doing any Dark Falls Aegis or Dark Falls Solas, you might have a bunch of these. And then on top of that, you do want to make sure that you exchange for all of your Aegis Souls as well as all of your different Dominas so that you can craft your Hal Finales. Um, let us take a look at the Hal Finale prices right now. And as we can see, the Hal Finale prices have actually crashed quite a bit. They're going like 950,000 to a 1 million. This is actually a really good price to buy some. I'm assuming it's because the Lux Hal Finale crisis also crashed as yep, they did. So they were like 6.5 million a couple days ago and they've crashed down to 5.5 million to 6 million. 
I don't, yeah, not even close to 6 million actually, 5.5 million to 5.8 million. So uh, yeah, it's because the Lux Hal Finale prices have crashed, which in result causes the uh, the regular Hal Finales to go down in price, which I am actually very surprised because uh, we did get the new armors this week. I guess people have just fully upgraded already or they are just settling with LC capsules and there's just no demand for the Lux Hal Finales. And to be fair, the Lux Hal Finales are kind of min-max territory. I do believe the majority of players are just gonna be using the regular LC capsules as that is more realistic and uh, more achievable for the mass majority of players. The next thing I want to remind everyone is going to be your growth mint exchange over here. Please make sure to buy all of your customization discs Bs over here as well as all of your different LC capsules because remember these four are pretty much the high-end LC capsules. Your Gladius Soul, High El Domina, Hal Finale as well as Gigas Master LC. I've actually bought all of them already but um, yeah these are actually really really good. Um, there are the Vershmel weapons. I will have a video coming out tomorrow where I do compare the Vershmel weapons with a 10 star rarity weapon, like a proper comparison. If you guys watched early, uh, I think like two days ago, I did take down that video because uh, I realized my Vershmel weapon was actually at plus 70 and not plus 80 when I did the video. And so I had to take down that video and retest it. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video as uh, I will have the proper testing. And I also re-augmented my flugel guard weapon so it's an apples to apples comparison and last but not least don't forget about your dread scale exchange shop over here and pick up your ta customization disc x um, i actually gonna buy that right now it will cost you 50 of these dread scales but uh, hopefully you have a ton of them because we were farming in the gorge area last week and last but not least don't forget to exchange all of your alliance badges for your star gems over here we can pick up another 30 star gem so we're gonna do that right now and wabam so you guys probably have realized that my backdrop is very different and my microphone sounds very different as well and this is simply because i am out of town i've been out of town for quite a couple days already um so just expect the future videos or the next couple videos to be like this um, simply because I don't have my recording setup or anything here. I do have my new laptop though, which is serving me really, really well. And, uh, you know, I'm just recording all of the uh, video on uh, iPhone, which is doing an okay job in my personal opinion. But nevertheless, I am away and I'm out of town. So uh, yeah, basically we're still gonna maintain the daily uploads. It's just, it's just gonna be a little bit of a different setting for now, okay? Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.